Hi, I'm Leon, and we've just finished the Yachtmaster Ocean Course here in Malta, celebrating at the Royal Malta Yacht Club, and they all passed with no problems using the Regina sailing templates. But one question I get so often is how to choose your longitude, because the local hour angle needs to be a full degree. So I have some new slides, and I will explain it in yet another way, so follow me on that. So when we have the world here somewhere and we zoom in and have a look on at a chart and for instance sailing from Madeira to the Azores, we start off a day and get an estimated position by dead reckoning or taking the currents into account. That's at least our best guess where we are. And now using the site reduction tables, we should use or choose a position close to that one, as close as possible so that the data can be found in the site reduction table. So there are loads of assumed positions or uh, positions you could choose for which the data is available. So which one should we choose? Well, the one closest by, right? And the closest by would be this one in this case. So why do we choose one of these dots, the closest one? Well, because of exactly that dot there is some information available in the site reduction table so for this dot for this assumed position here we can look up and find in the site reduction table which angle i should measure on this place that is called the hc the calculated altitude and secondly what's the direction of the sun the azimuth but the problem is how to choose this assumed position because only for these these working positions the azimuth and the altitude is found in the site reduction table so that's good so let's assume that we have shot the sun at exactly a specific time and we have chosen that assumed position so what we get is the azimuth out of the site reduction table that's the direction of the sun and let's assume that we have measured the sun with an altitude of 46 degrees and three minutes. And in the book, we found that the HC, if we were in this position, should have been 46 degrees and 13 minutes. Well, there is a little difference there, right? Difference of 10 minutes, which corresponds to 10 nautical miles. Since it's smaller, we should have been further away from the sun. So the intercept is further away to the sun. And at this point, Perpendicular is my position line. So that's where we are somewhere. Now you could argue, where are we? Well, most probably we're quite close to the EP, right? The triangle there, the estimated position. So we can see that according to this example, we are a little bit further towards northwest, further towards the Azores than anticipated, than estimated. But that's good. So the problem is not that. The problem is to get the calculated altitudes and the azimuths. There are two ways. And first of all, you could use a computer app. The computer app is really smart these days, uh, like this one uh, called Sun Navigation. And then you can use your position. So if you use a computer app, you use the position that you have. You don't need to have a uh, assumed position or move around to the closest one for which there is data in the book because for a computer there's data for any position. So that makes this method using a computer app so much more feasible. You don't have to choose a position. The negative side is obviously you need the app. So the whole idea with teaching celestial navigation is using just a pencil and a piece of paper. So therefore this course and the RYA Yachtmaster Ocean Theory course is all about using this site reduction table. So from this site reduction table there is the azimuth, the direction to the sun, and the altitude that you should measure the sun here, but only for whole numbers of latitude, whole numbers of local hour angle, and real declination, meaning any declination up to 29 degrees. So how does this work? Now how do you choose the whole number of latitude and whole number of LHA. The whole number of latitudes is often very easy, but the local hour angle is a bit tricky. So let me show this in a new slide here. So here we have our very famous book, the site reduction table. So out of this comes, we have said it several times, the azimuth and the pre-calculated uh, altitude. So that's fine. What's the input? Well, the input is for each full degree of 
latitude. Well, that is not very difficult because if we are on 46 degrees 10 minutes, what's the closest full degree of latitude? Well, it is rounding down to 46 degrees. If it is 46 degrees and 43 minutes, well, you round up to 47 degrees. So here, nobody has really big problems. And then it works for each for, uh, latitude of the sun, the, um, the declination. So that is found in the blue book here. Our nautical almanac, we can find the latitude of the sun, the so-called declination. That goes into the book. That's fine. And as I said before, this is all for declinations between 0 and 29 degrees and our own latitudes of being non-tropical, meaning the but higher latitudes from 39 to 89 degrees. If you are in tropical areas, you use volume 2. Fair enough. Now comes the big difference or difficulty that many people have, meaning how do you find the full degree of local hour angle? So... That is what this little video is about. Then it's easy. You get the pre-calculated HC. You can compare the two and any difference uh, between what you should have measured HC and what you did measure is HO. That's the distance to the assumed position. And that's the intercept either away or closer by. That is not so difficult. But this, how about the full degree of local hour angle? And now comes the smart thing with this book. So I've made a little new slide here to explain what the local hour angle is. So we have our position here and out of the book, the, uh, for this assumed position, you get the azimuth and the pre-calculated uh, HT. Fair enough. And then you have the sun somewhere here in the afternoon with a point on the earth where the beam goes perpendicular towards the center of the earth. That's the picture point of the sun. And the direction from us, from this assumed position, towards the sun, well, that is the azimuth. And the angle that you should measure if you were in this position, that is the HC, that is the altitude, that is the angle between the sun and the horizon. Fair enough. For what positions is this valid? Well, for all working positions, for all assumed positions. So that would be a full degree of latitude. That's good. And then we have our own longitude. That's here. So that has something to do with the local hour angle. So here is our own longitude. And then we need the latitude of the sun. Well, that's easy because that is found in the blue book. So that's the latitude of the sun. But then the longitude of the sun, we have a longitude of the sun as well, and that is called this greenish hour angle. And that is also found in the blue book, also found in the nautical almanac. So that's good. So why couldn't we just have a full degree of longitude? Because that is not uh, what we are after. The, what we are after is the local hour angle, the angle between those two. And as you can see, this is my favorite picture. The Earth is turning around, but the whole thing is valid wherever you are on the Earth, as long as there is a difference between us and the sun which makes sense, meaning which has a full degree. So we look at this angle, the full degree of the local hour angle, and that is always between our longitude and the longitude of the sun. So from us to the sun, that is the uh, local uh, hour angle. And what we have to do here is now we have to negotiate. So the difference between our longitude, if you look to the left uh, up, upper corner there, between the longitude and the Greenwich hour angle, that is the local hour angle. And now the question is, what is the Greenwich hour angle? Well, that we find in the book. And that is non-negotiable. The Greenwich hour angle is non-negotiable. The sun is where it is at the time of shooting. Because at this uh, day, hour, minute, and second. That's when we shot. So that is where when the sun has a longitude. Well, how about our own longitude? Well, that's assumed, right? It's, it's not quite certain anyway, and that's up for negotiation. So the, our own longitude is negotiable. So what we now have to do is to, to tweak a little bit our own longitude in white, so that the full degree of uh, local hour angle becomes what we want, namely the local hour angle, the difference between us and 
the longitude of the sun in red, that should be a full degree. And the thing is that the sun is moving all the time. So that's why it differs depending on the time of the day or uh, minute and seconds. Here is another example of how it looks. This is my chart. So let's assume we are somewhere here in the tropics. So this is where we think we are with our dead reckoning, DR or estimated position, as good as we can think. Meaning a latitude of some 24 degrees and 40 minutes north maybe, and 2 degrees 45 minutes west. That's where we think we are. And then the sun is also somewhere. So let's assume the sun is here, for instance. And that also has a latitude, we call it declination, of some 22 and a half degrees north and a longitude of 2 degrees west in this example. We need to find a position now with a full degree of latitude and a full degree local hour angle between us and the sun. So let's say that we want to have first a full degree of latitude. That's easy. So where, which one would you choose? Which latitude? Well, 24 or 25? Well, we are closer to 25 degrees north. So let's move our position north. And now you can see that the difference between us and the sun is not a full degree. And by the way, the sun is really moving fast here. So now the sun has a longitude of, you can see, 5 degrees and maybe 20 minutes west, according to the meridian. But I have yellow lines as well. So the yellow lines are the relative longitudes. That's the ones that we have for our local hour angle. So if you now check what is the difference between us and the sun and the longitudes, well, first you go, well, more over the half degree to get to uh, what the first yellow line and then two more. So it's about two, uh, two and a half degrees um, difference between us and the sun. And that doesn't work. So we need to place this assumed position onto a yellow longitude. So here, this is a great assumed position because that degree of a longitude of uh, assumed position that has a full degree of local hour angle towards the sun. So one, two, it's on the third line. It has a local hour angle of three degrees. So that's why the assumed position has a nice latitude, 25 degrees and nothing minutes north, and a bit crooked longitude as it seems so our longitude for the assumed position here is 2 degrees and, I don't know, 22 point something uh, west. But it turns out that if we choose this longitude, the local hour angle between us and sun is nicely 3 degrees. Well, it's just yet another way to dis explain the local hour angle and the mystery of that. Hopefully it helps you to understand the better and to continue sailing in safety, comfort and style.